pulled up. And the first thing that we're going to look at is these root notes and what exactly a root note means. So when you're looking at the regular six string guitar neck, you've got, you know, of course your six strings and we know that those that those are E E A D G B and E. Yeah, e. So a lot of guitar technique comes um, from rooting off of your low your low sixth string, which is your low E string, and rooting off of your low A string, which is your fifth string. And you can see those roots illustrated right here. It's a really good idea to just memorize those, um, those specific root notes, um, and make it so that you, you just kind of have at least the root notes name, uh, memorized on the fifth, your fifth string and, uh, sorry, your sixth string and your fifth string. So on your sixth, which is your low E and on your fifth string, which is your low A. So as we're looking at this, um, we're going to start with our F, which is on the first fret of the low, sixth string, our E string. We're going to go F. I'm just going to move right up the string playing all, all the natural notes. So those are all the notes listed there, um, not including the sharps and flats. So we're going to go F, G, A, B, C, D, and then E. All the way up on the 12th fret. Let's go ahead and also do that um, on the A string. So we're going to go open A, which is our fifth string. And we're going to go then uh, B, starting on our second string. So we're, we're utilizing the notes here, starting here on the, on the fifth string. So we're at B. All right, and we're going to go C, D, E. So um, when dealing with root notes, it's, it, we're not only using root notes just for bar chords, but we're also using them to root off of scales, to root off of uh, power chords. All of these things are going to be how we're going to utilize uh, root notes. So either rooting um, on our E string or rooting on our, our A string. So the idea there is to be able to have those memorized so that you can do things like a C power chord, you know, which just is happening right there, rooting on our fifth string on the third fret, C power chord. Or we might do a G power chord, right? Or we might root on the fifth fret and play an A pentatonic scale. So bar chords really are the next step to finding our rooted position. And I wanted to go through the 10 main bar chords that we utilize on the guitar often. Um, there are some other bar chords that are used, but there are 10 main bar chords that are utilized on the guitar. Now, as you're looking at this, you can see how the... Uh, diagram set up where we've got major, major seventh, minor, minor seventh, and then dominant seven. A dominant seven is basically just like a seventh chord. You know, like you might play down here, you might play an A7, or you might play a D7, or a G7, or a C7. Those are all considered dominant seventh chords and we just simplify it by calling it a seventh and then we'll, of course we're also very familiar with our major chords and our minor chords 
And then our major sevenths and minor sevenths, we don't see a whole lot in first position. You might see a minor seven. You might see an E minor seven. This one again was an A minor seven. You might see an E minor seven. You might even see a major seven, a D major seven. But you open up your chord vocabulary when you learn your bar chords. So basic bar chord practice is and technique is starting with your first starting with your first finger over top of we'll just say the third fret, and you put your finger directly over top of the fret, and then roll it backwards, just so that you can actually bar all of the strings. Now on the top of my finger you can see where the lines are. They're not on the bottom side, but they're on the top because I rolled my finger back. So I'm rolling my finger back and then playing, with the, playing that bar chord with the top side of my finger. And getting that down first, and just kind of practicing that, it takes a lot of pressure, a lot of uh, hand strength, you know, it's good to loosen up your hands, you can stretch out your hands, that type of thing. Stretch out your fingers, um, because bar chords, you are pressing down on all six strings with one finger. Um, so obviously that's gonna, that's gonna, you're gonna feel that. Um, so as you're looking at our um, bar chord diagram right here, we're gonna go ahead and go through these and look at just kind of getting the positions down, working on where they are. And then really, when you incorporate them into, say, for example, like a blues pattern or um, like an E blues or an A blues, that's really when you get a handle on the bar chords. Um, and it's kind of like one of those things, like if you were going to do an E major blues, you'd play all major bar chords and follow the roots. If you were playing a minor blues, say an A minor blues, you'd play all minor bar chords and follow the roots. Similarly, like you could sub out an A minor seventh blues and play all minor sevenths and just follow the roots. So it gives you a lot of flexibility by doing this, by doing uh, bar chords and learning them, learning them, having, having them down. The blues videos that I have up are good practice videos for incorporating bar chords or even other songs that you have that you play in that you're familiar with the patterns and whatnot try to sub out your regular chords with bar chords just to get familiar with playing those all right the first one first one we're going to start with here i'm going to switch to this camera view down as well so the first one that we're going to start with here is a major a major bar chord so we're starting on the fifth fret with our root, and then we're going to form this bar chord here. So we're going to go ahead and go. And you can see my second finger, third, and pinky. it is necessary just hold a chord that long and get comfortable with it next let's go ahead and look at our major bar chord rooting on the a string now this is going to be a d major bar chord because we're going to start it on the fifth fret that's the d note of our low a string or our fifth our fifth string so as we're looking at this, we're just going to go ahead and with our third finger, we're going to bar across these three strings. That's what this three right here means. Equally so, the 
the one is also showing we're playing all of these strings with our first finger. Same thing with this right here. We're playing all three strings with our third finger. So we're gonna bar across those strings, and then we're gonna play. Sometimes it's tough to get that upper, upper note, which is an A, but if you're not grabbing that right now, that's okay, because there's an A right here as well. Okay, so there's your D major bar chord. We're going to skip the major sevenths um, and just jump right into minor sevenths. Or sorry, minor, just regular minor chords. So our, our very common chord that we use is our A minor, our A minor chord. So we're gonna go ahead and use that as a bar chord playing A minor. So we'll bar across the fifth fret because that's where our root is. The A on the fifth fret, that's where our root is. We're gonna bar across that and then we're gonna go ahead and play, use our third and our fourth fingers to play the rest of the chord. Let's hear that sounds in comparison to the regular A minor. More bass in there, it's always good. Cool. Let's go ahead and do our D minor. Again, our D root is right here. And so we're gonna go ahead and form this chord right here, D minor. jump over to our seventh chords, our dominant seventh chords. Um, we're going to go ahead and do those in A and D as well. So in this case you can see A seventh, same spot, it's going to be on the fifth fret and we're going to form that chord. You could put that there, but let's go ahead and try to get that regular dominant seven down. A7, just like this. It's the same chord, same notes. And let's then do our D7 chord. Alright, let's jump back and do our major sevenths and minor sevenths. They're certainly fun chords. People often consider them to be like jazzy sounding. Um, this major seven right here is not technically a bar chord because you see you don't have a bar, but it's a simplified version of this major seven. where you've got your pinky on the seventh fret here, third finger, second. But this this version of it is way more of a practical bar chord. Um, so really you're just taking your first finger, placing it on the root, second finger goes on your second string, fifth fret, third goes on your sixth fret of your fourth string, and fourth finger goes on the third string, sixth fret. You're actually muting this this A, your A string right here. You're muting that string. Let's strum that a little bit. A major seven. Okay. And let's go ahead and do D major seven. So this is the D major seven chord right here. Right, it's got this cool little triangle. We're gonna bar across the fifth fret. 
and then form the chord. do our minor sevenths so we've got our really cool a minor seven with this shape probably one of my favorite bar chords i really like using that in blues uh, a minor seven blues going to do our D minor 7. So for D minor 7, we'll jump over to the rooting on D, bar it, and then play our 7 pattern. You might remember this pattern from, right, which is just moved up. Right, so going from our A, my, our A uh, minor 7 chord down here to So try to go ahead and learn, learn them, learn all 10, uh, at least like slowly start memorizing them. And I'll be following up with some videos with progressions using bar chords. So where you can go ahead and utilize um, actual progressions to be able to uh, play through these um, bar chords. So that's really, you know, that's, that's really when you learn them best anyway. But try them out, get them on your fingers, and then you can sub these in, try to sub these in with the right notes, right root notes for your regular songs that you're playing with first position chords um, in that. Okay? All right, guys. Good job.